My dream come true, Moritz Jens, reacts to Celtic move on Instagram. Tom Rogic shares Celtic post. And new boy Moritz Jens was sold on Celtic by old teammate Matt O'Reilly. All in this morning Celtic FC news from the One Celtic Fans Views YouTube channel. Good morning you sexy bunch. It would accurate to assume, that our new central defender, Moritz Jens, could not contain his delight at finally managing to get his perfect football club in Celtic. The big man had a near miss last summer and ended up heading to League One with FC Lorient. He endured an underwhelming time in the French league and was ecstatic at the opportunity presented to him by Angie Postacogler and Michael Nicholson. So much so, that he reserved special praise for the current boys CEO as well as his agent via social media. An exuberant Jens posted a pic of himself in his new team's colours with his back showing Gen 6 on it. A special thank you to the CEO, Mr Nicholson, and his team for doing everything to bring me here. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to my agent at Roberto underscore Defanti at Udi Football for doing an incredible job and always fighting to make my dream come true. Hopefully, it is a match made in heaven, and a dream come true for both parties. One thing Angie Postacogler changed in terms of the culture when he came in was bringing in the right sort of characters when it came to recruitment. He has certainly delivered that so far with an excellent group of people as well as players. Moritz will fit in just fine by the sounds of it and will be able to showcase his ability in due course. Tom Rogic has gone off the grid since leaving Celtic. The midfielder is yet to sign for a new club. The Celtic hero has always kept somewhat of a low profile. However, tonight he made sure to acknowledge Celtic's latest transfer, his friend and international teammate Aaron Moy. Angie Postacogler was forced to tell people to lay off Tom and what he's been getting up to since leaving Celtic in May. We can't wait to see where Tom ends up next. The Hoops hero deserves to continue his career somewhere high profile. As for Celtic, they prepare for life after Tom. The club's official first game of the season is on July 31st. Aberdeen will be in town for Flag Day. Aaron could see action that day if Angie believes the player's fitness is at a good enough level. One of Celtic's newest recruits has revealed that he was desperate to play in the green and white hoops after being sold on it by Matt O'Reilly. Moritz Jens has insisted he was always looking to sign for Angie Postacogler's side after interest in him last summer when he was playing in Switzerland with Lausanne Sport. When his childhood mate from the Fulham Academy, Matt O'Reilly, became a player at Parkhead the towering defender was itching to join the ranks. In his first interview with Celtic TV, Moritz said, It's an amazing feeling to be here. It's been a dream for me since last year because I really wanted to come here, and finally the dream has come true to play for a massive club, so I'm really happy to be here. Since last year, I've been in touch with Matt O'Reilly who's been my best mate since we were younger and played together at Fulham, and he told me a lot of great things. He texted me immediately after he signed, telling me it would be nice to have me here. I followed the season and how it went, and obviously, it went really well for Celtic because they won the league. It's always good to have a friend and someone who can help you to settle in very quickly, and I've also met the lads today and they seem like a good group of people, very open, very nice, so I'm looking forward to work, and working hard and getting as far as possible with the team this season and achieve great things. Jens also stated his main attributes and what the fans can expect from him for the season ahead. He added, I'm a hardworking player, someone who is physical and aggressive, and who likes to play. Fans can expect me to give everything to the club to achieve the highest targets. That's what I'm here to do. It's very exciting. Obviously, every player's dream is to play for a big team and to compete for the biggest trophies and competitions, so I'm looking forward to it. I want to finish as high as possible in every competition. I would love to have played tomorrow, but things have been a bit busy today, so I will train this week and then join with the team on Friday and be ready for the match at the weekend. It seems as if the German centre-back was destined to play for the hoops one day as Matt O'Reilly isn't his only Celtic connection within the game.
Peter Grant was his coach at Craven Cottage and he regaled him with stories of his playing days in Scotland at Celtic Park and the tales of fellow German, Andreas Tom. He finished, at Fulham my coach was Peter Grant, who was a big player at Celtic, and I used to listen to all the stories he told me of when he played, he played with Andy Tom, who was also here. So I always had an eye for it, a special club with a special logo, a special shirt and a special history, so there was always a desire to one day play for this club. I think maybe it's destiny, I hope so. And on that note have a great day Celtic fans all around the world. Lit. Roll up to the party.